All right, here he is, the one, the only, the inimitable Kimbo Slice. No denying the power, no denying the mass appeal when Kimbo Slice makes the walk and competes in a high-profile MMA fight. The mass is too much. Yes, they do too much. Some of the biggest fights in the UFC or any organization we've ever fought is attributed to Kimbo Slice. Yeah. He has an ability to just draw people in from the internet to the octagon. Kimbo Slice is always one of the biggest stars. Now, a lot of it is because of his personality, but they didn't pull up those Kimbo Slice videos to see him dancing. They pulled it up to see him fight, and Kimbo Slice, at his heart, at his core, is a fighter. No denying the power he has in both hands. He brings that to the table, and don't let the aesthetic fool you. Kimbo Slice might be the nicest guy on this roster. as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. That has been on the planet, putting that very distinction on the line. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forced by this training camp through the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. So much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We said it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kimbo Slot! Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Quinton Rampage Referee Herb ready. Dean will handle the action ready. in the octagon. Good. All right, we are ready to go here at the start of round one for this stand-up only event. So grapplers need not apply. We outline the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here as our first round gets underway. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying a big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage his turn. Oh, my goodness, these balls are going at him. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Rampage. Body kick lands. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Just on cue, there it is. We kind of saw that one coming, and there it is again. What a fun fight. These two are going back and forth. 
So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, man, these guys are both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. such a pronounced edge in reach. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go in the You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you at your Checks the leg kick. All right, so some definite damage. There, somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Slips the punch. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Slice. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Oh, oh tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Slice. Well, not much set up behind that the right hook misses. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. He's got to start to protect it. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. a minute now to go. Telegraph. Oh! Oh! Oh, right here! Oh! Oh, God, keep pressing here! Jackson's eye now closing up. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Nice body kick there. Final seconds. Slice's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, all right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut may will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Big power shot there. Looks like Pac-Man, he takes so many strikes to the head. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landings. Hey, 
Strike lands cleanly there. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Oh! Oh, he is hurting for certain. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yeah, we knew this would be... Oh, he's gonna do it! Oh, my God! Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Quinton Rampage Jackson. All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.